This is part 56 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to make a GET request using jQuery AJAX GET function and the difference between jQuery GET and LOAD functions. This is continuation to part 55, so please watch part 55 before proceeding with this video. This is the same example that we worked with in the previous video session. When any of these fields receives focus, the help text associated with that field is displayed in the div element. At the moment, to achieve this, we're using the jQuery load function. Notice this function has got two parameters at the moment. The first parameter specifies the URL to which we want to send the request, and the second parameter specifies the data that we want to send to the server. Now let's see how to rewrite this using jQuery get function. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So this is the same code that we worked with in the previous video session. To keep things simple, I'm going to remove this callback function for the time being. So notice at the moment, we're using load function here. And this load function is being called on a selector. So with load function, we first specify a selector. And on that, we call the load function. Whenever we get a response from the server, that response is then inserted into the elements that match this selector. In this case, this selector is matching you know, the div element that's displayed next to the field that receives the focus. So whatever response we get back, the div element is updated with that response automatically. With get function, we don't specify any selector first, right? So here, load is being called on a selector, but with get, we don't specify any selector. So I'm going to actually make a copy of that. So let's copy that selector from there, and I'm going to delete that. And instead of load, I'm going to use get. And if you look at this get function, notice that it has got four parameters. The first three parameters are similar to load function. URL specifies the URL to which we want to send the request. Data parameter specifies the data that we want to send to the server. Callback parameter specifies the function that gets executed of the request completes. And the type parameter specifies the type of data that we are expecting from the server. We'll talk about this type parameter in our next video session in detail. For now, let's use just the first three parameters. So at the moment here, we are specifying the URL, specifying the data that we want to send to the server, and now I'm going to specify the callback function. So this is the function that gets called when the request completes. Now when the request completes, we are expecting some data from the server, and this parameter is going to receive that data. So once we have that data, we want to update the div element, right? So we need a selector to find the div element. So I'm going to paste the selector that we had before. So this will find the div element that is present next to the element that has received focus. And then I'm going to use the HTML function and then pass the response to that function. All right, so here we're using the get function instead of load function. So let's save the changes. Let's go ahead and reload this page and see if this continues to work in the same way. Look at this. When any of these fields receives focus, we still get the help text associated with that field. All right, so we have used get function to achieve the same thing. So what is the difference between jQuery load and get functions. jQuery load function can be used to load only the HTML data from the server, whereas jQuery get function can be used to load any type of data, be it XML, JSON, script, or HTML. In fact, in our next video, we'll look at an example of retrieving JSON data from the server jQuery load function may issue a get a post request depending on whether the data parameter is specified or not. So if you look at this code snippet right here, we are specifying the data parameter, the data that we want to send to the server. So in this case, this load function is going to use post method. If we don't specify the data parameter, then it is going to use get method. But if you look at this get function, as the name implies, this function is always going to issue a get request. With the load function, we specify a selector first. We have seen that just now. The HTML content retrieved from the server is automatically inserted into the DOM element that matches the selector we have specified. With get function, we do not specify any selector first. 
Instead, we will make use of this callback function to insert the data received from the server into the DOM element. Right? And to call the get function, we use the jQuery object. Thank you for listening and have a great day.